Welcome to Ion Gainesville. I'm Katil Feltz. I'm very excited to be here today in Rock Creek Greenway Corridor, a project that has actually been 14 years or more in the making. A project that is possible because of the public-private partnerships of the City of Gainesville, Gainesville Parks and Recreation, and Friends of Gainesville Parks and Greenways Incorporated. Now, because of the work that has been done here at Rock Creek Park, you can actually walk from downtown Gainesville to Lake Lanier. A ribbon cutting ceremony October 13th marked the opening of this final phase of the citywide trail system. In just a few minutes, we'll hear comments from the ribbon cutting ceremony and talk with Michael Graham, Deputy Director of Gainesville Parks and Recreation, about the construction involved in creating the corridor as well as the daily upkeep. First, the latest news in Gainesville. Gainesville Police Chief Frank Hooper recently announced new positions for several of his officers. Carol Martin was promoted to lieutenant and serves as the commander of the Criminal Investigation Division and Public Information Officer. Sergeant Sean Welsh will serve as the Assistant CID Commander and PIO. Lieutenant Floyd Knupp was named Training Officer and Dan Schrader serves as the department's crime scene investigator. And the holiday season kicks off this month with the Upstairs Downtown Holiday Open House on Thursday, November 19th. Sponsored by Main Street Gainesville, the Downtown Merchants and the Greater Hall Chamber of Commerce. You can enjoy the sights and sounds of downtown at dusk. For more information, call Main Street at 770-297-1141. A dream that started in the 70s actually became a reality recently with the opening of the Rock Creek Greenway Corridor. This area was officially dedicated in a ribbon cutting ceremony October 13th. We were born As I stand here in this beautiful setting, I'm really proud to represent the Gainesville Park and Rec Board and the, the uh, staff and their employees, the people that have helped make, some of the people anyway, that have helped make this possible. Um, Everybody has worked hard to make this a reality. I'm, I'm very proud of the city of Gainesville that recognized the need for this facility and was willing to see it through from the start to the finish. Uh, Gainesville should be recognized for developing this beautiful green corridor. It joins a number of cities that have recognized that green corridors like this are important both for economic uh, reasons but also for health reasons. It's a beautiful hiking trail that gives people a chance to stretch their legs. Um, our Park and Rec Board and our people that we represent and the staff of Park and Rec are not done yet. Uh, we're here to represent the people of Gainesville, the citizens of Gainesville. Um, we're, one of the ways we're doing that is getting feedback through our um, your parks, your voice program, so we're better in tune with what the citizens of Gaines will want. Uh, and we're trying to answer those concerns, whether it's upgraded playgrounds, more parks, more green space, hike trails, biking trails, completely new facilities. Uh, and it's your input and your help that has made this possible. Uh, we're gonna continue to focus on that and we cannot do what we do at Park and Rec without your help and your input. So I wanna thank you for that. As a past president and current board member, I have seen and been a part of this project since the beginning. Friends of the Gainesville Parks is a 501c3 corporation and it's a prime example how the private and public partnership can work. Friends of the Gainesville Parks, the Gainesville Park and Recreation Department, and the city of Gainesville have created a working relationship equal to none. With this partnership and the T grants from the Department of Transportation, we have been able to complete a dream. A dream which began 13 years ago. A dream to connect downtown Gainesville with a greenway corridor to Lake Lanier. We stand here today cutting the ribbon in celebration of the completion of the Rock Creek Park Greenway and the amphitheater. I commend and praise the past and present boards of Friends of the Parks for keeping this dream alive. I would be remiss if I did not recognize 
our founding president, Mr. Joe Biddy, whose vision propelled our organization to this day. Also, a special thanks to Melvin Cooper and Michael Graham, whose leadership continues to be a dominant factor with Friends of the Parks. I want to share with you a little bit about the history, some more of what uh, Jim Pilgrim had done for you. But what began in as, a, as an idea over 40 years ago is today becoming a reality. On this day, we dedicate a final link in the Rock Creek Greenway in renovation of one of the city's oldest and most historical parks. The vision for Rock Creek dates back as early as the 1970s. However, the Vision 2000 Parks and Recreation Master Plan of Gainesville Parks and Recreation in 1990 actually recommended a citywide trail linking the downtown square to Lake Lanier. Starting in 1995, the city of Gainesville applied for the first two rounds of ICE-T, or Department of Transportation Enhancement Grants, to renovate the downtown square. The renovation provided the perfect hub for a multi-use trail system that would reach to the community like spokes on a wheel. Rock Creek Greenway was the fir perfect first spoke to this system. Interested, interested citizens formed Friends of Gainesville Parks, as Jim said, in 1996 and joined forces with the City of Gainesville, the Gainesville Parks and Recreation Board, to address the restoration and preservation issues associated with the Carter Parks we know as Ivy Terrace, Wilshire Trails, and Longwood Park that make up the Rock Creek Greenway Corridor. Private and public funds were procured for master plans and demonstration projects to determine the effectiveness of certain bioengineering or natural techniques to sustain the parks. With the support of the Upper Chattahoochee Basin Group and EPA 319 grant, a detention pond was developed in the headwaters of Rock Creek Park that will retard and filter a large portion of the stormwater flowing downstream. And in 2000, Rock Creek Park, the gateway to the Greenway from downtown, was developed by Friends of Gainesville Parks under the leadership of the first executive director at that time of Friends of the Park, Michael Graham, who is now my deputy director. I know somebody good when I see them and brought him on our team as well, but we're continuing to work with him, and I thank him for bringing that vision to reality. Georgia Green Space funds were used in 2002 to purchase property, providing the last link within the greenway between Rock Creek Park and Ivy Terrace Park. A third and fourth round of T grant funds were awarded to the city in 2002 and 2003 to support the Rock Creek Greenway through stormwater mitigation, stream bank stabilization, multi-use trail development and landscape beautifications. Phase one and two in Ivy Terrace Park were completed with this funding in May of 2003. The Department of Transportation awarded two subsequent rounds of transportation enhancement funds for phase three and four of the Greenway development in the amount of $800,000 to complete the Ivy Terrace connection, what we have called the connector portion of the Greenway that included the continuation of the eight foot wide multi-purpose trail providing a connection from Ivy Terrace to the existing Wilshire Trail system that extends to Lake Lanier and to the downtown area by way of this connector portion behind us today. Approximately 550 linear feet of stream bank stabilization and restoration and an amphitheater that will seat approximately 300 people. Today's dedication highlights the importance of public-private partnerships because the work we celebrate today could not have been accomplished by one group. The partnership formed in 1996 by the City of Gainesville, the Parks and Recreation Board, and Friends of the Park is seeing continued fruits of preservations and renewal of the Greenway Corridor that connects downtown to Lake Lanier.